My name's Ryan Trick. Oh my God. <laughs> 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 and I'm going to be showing you how easy we are to be manipulated, controlled, influenced, tricked. <laughs> <laughs> and how much we give away about ourselves every minute of every day. Enjoy the show. I want to try out an experiment that has fascinated me for many, many years. It's called the wisdom of crowds. It first came about in 1906 by a man of the name Sir Francis Galton, who went to a county fair in Plymouth to hold a guest to weight competition. He actually went there with a slaughtered ox and you had to guess how much the meat weighed. And if you guessed correctly, then you got to keep all of that meat. Now we had about 800 people participate in this competition, but what was crazy is not one single person managed to guess the weight correctly. So he went away and he took all their answers collectively to find out the average of the group. And what he found was absolutely incredible because the average of the group was 2,007 pounds and the actual weight of the meat itself was 1,997 pounds. So the group collectively, the average, they were 1% off the exact weight. And that was when the Wisdom of Crowds was born. Now this has been used by big corporations, juries. So I wanna try this experiment out myself on the streets of London, but not using me. Using a jar of lollies. So let's go. Hello lads, my name's Ryan, what's your name? Josh. Josh and you? Liam. Liam and you? James, nice to meet you. Now, you're probably wondering why on earth have I got a jar of lollies, yeah? Now, have you ever heard the saying, two heads are better than one? Yeah. Have you ever heard that, yes? So if you was to guess how many lollies are in here by yourself, yeah. the probability of you guessing by yourself is gonna be very, very unlikely. You're not gonna be right. But if we was to take all of your guesses and then take the average between three, the probability heightens, right? Because it's a group opinion. So I wanna try this out now. Who's got a phone on them? Because we're going to need a phone to calculate this. Take it out. Unlock it and go onto your calculator for me. Good, don't press anything just yet. Now look at this jar. How many sweets, lollies, do you think are in here? <laughs> how many? You, it's for you. 100. 100. Type in 100 in the calculator. Yeah. Now you take it and press plus. So how many do you think are in here? Just type it in. And then press plus. Good. Now you take it. How many do you think are in here? Say it. How many? Yeah, no, 319. 319. So put in 319 and then press equals. So we have 519, that's collectively between you, right? Well, like I said at the start, we're gonna take the average of three of your guesses. So if you divide that by three, what does it come to? 173, so that's the average of three of you. Now, if that was true, two heads are better than one, then there should be 173 lollies in, in here, right? Unscrew the lid for me. Oh, no way. No, okay. That's not <laughs> <laughs> Show the camera. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. What? Oh, no. Show the camera. Oh, shit. <laughs> no. What does it say? Oh. Have a look what's underneath it. No, that's not. <laughs> that's not. <laughs> that's not. You would have to say that. No, because I, no, I don't believe this shit yet. <laughs> I don't believe this stuff. And it actually says 173. Oh, 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 that is decent, man. Show the camera. <laughs> oh, that's, that's mad. The collective opinion is better than of a single expert, right? Between three of you. 
I thought you just said that. There's so much <laughs> to that. That's fucked with my mind. <laughs> that right there is called the Wisdom of Crowds experiment. You can Google it and find it out. <laughs> Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, see you later, thank you. Um, I know that these uh, contain 240 when yeah, full. Yeah, yeah. So I knew you two were guessing low and I was like, oh shit, I'm gonna guess high to average it out. But then I didn't guess enough, I was trying to get 200. The fact that that, that's bad. The fact that it's 173 <laughs> That's crazy. The average of our answers together totaled to 173, which was the correct yeah. answer. And <laughs> it's a little bit I'm so mind boggling. So I don't know what's going on. <laughs> like, this is legit. <laughs> like, I was so like, this is not gonna work. But it did. <laughs> Which shows it's right. So, 173. <laughs> Woo! What you've seen me do is the Wisdom of Crowds experiment, and you've seen it works. See, I like to take things and make them my own. So, what I'm about to do right now is do this to a single person. So, I'm going to implant a number inside of their head without them even realizing it. So let's find some people. Hey, there's a group of lads there. Let's ask them. Hello lads, you're right. Hello. I'm so sorry to put you. My name's Ryan. I'm playing a game where you had to guess how many lollies are in here. Uh, we're in there. Uh, no, come on, please. Take two seconds. Two seconds. Is that alright? I see you drinking, you're having a good time. Is that alright? Yeah. yeah, come here, come here, come over, come over. I got I got cameras. I got cameras. Right. So Normally when I've been doing this, I've been doing it with a group of people. Do you speak good English? Yeah, yeah. Yes, okay. Because they, have you ever heard the saying, two heads are better than one? Yeah. Have you ever heard that saying? Yeah. Because a group opinion is better than of a single expert. So I've been doing the Wisdom of Crowds experiment. I don't know whether you know what it is. So what it is, is I ask people how many are in here. I take all of their answers and then collectively I find out the average. So I'm not going to do that now. I'm going to do my version of this. So what I'm going to try and do now is implant a number inside of your head, how many lollies are in here. So look at me a second, who should I do this to? You? So look at me, take a deep breath in, and out, in, and out. Now I don't want you to think about how many lollies are in here, because when we think things, we overthink them. So please do not do that. Take a deep breath in and out. I'm going to touch your head. The moment I touch your head, you're going to name an amount. You're going to name a number. Do you understand? Take a deep breath in, and out. Go. 137. How much? 137. 137. How many are in here? Yes. 72. 72 lollies. How many are in here? 69. 69? Yeah. Go. 121. 121? Yeah. Wow. I actually took these lollies out earlier on and I wrote down the amount and I placed it on the top of the lid. 137. If there's 137 in here, this would be a miracle, right? What? <laughs> I was not Unscrew the lid. No. Unscrew the lid. You just went with your feelings. What, what is it? Oh, 173. Closer if you oh. was to move it, it'd be. Oh. oh! Oh, but if you was to move the three? I thought it's. Yeah. Okay, but wait. No, the thing is, like I said, singly guessing, the possibility is very, very unlikely, right? But this wasn't about the Wisdom of Crowds experiment. This wasn't about two heads are better than one. This was about me implanting a thought inside of your head without you even realizing it. Because I implanted 137 into your head. You don't believe me, do you? Peel off that card for me. What's on the back of it? What the hell? <laughs> That's actually weird. <laughs> Show the camera. How did you do that? Did you feel influenced to say 121? Yeah. Did you feel like I influenced you to say it? Or was it a free choice? Well, like, you just touch me and I just... See, this is where it gets interesting. How about if I told you I implanted 121 in your head without you realizing it? Because look. Hundred and twenty one, yes? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How many? 
173. You were wrong. Do you know why? Because it was a single opinion. It wasn't collectively. Like I said, it's virtually impossible to guess mm. singly. Mm. Because I implanted 69 in your head. You don't believe me, do you? The only way I can prove this, how? Take 173, take it off, take the card off. Have a look what's on the back of it. Oh, wrong. <laughs> Bro, that's wrong. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say 100. I was going to say 104. How the heck? 69. Show the camera. <laughs> no, bro, that's wrong. That's no. But would you believe me if I told you I knew you was going to name 72? Because I implanted the number 72 in your head without you even realising it. No? No. Oh. Pull 173 off there. Pull the card off. What does it say on the back? Oh, <laughs> what, the yeah, what the hell? Show the camera. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Should I show you? Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? No, you're. So that's my versions of the wisdom of crowds. I'll let you keep that. It's yours to keep. Oh my god. That. My dome. Fucking hell. Oh my god. Top geezer. Oh my god. <laughs> Dynamite, who's he? This is yeah. the next guy. <laughs> <laughs> Dynamo, where you at? <laughs> Dynamo. Oh, cool, right? Yeah. If we'd have done it collectively, our total answer would have been 173. Yeah? Because I was going to say 104. You understand? <laughs> yeah, it's the man. wisdom of crowds, but this is my take on it. So there we go. You can keep that. That's yours Thanks, to brother. keep. Have a good day. Thank brother. you so Thank much you, for stopping That's right. and letting me do no this. Worries, Thank man. you Thanks, so man. much. Cool, Thank man. you so much. What's your name? My name is Jonathan. Jonathan, nice to meet you, Jonathan. My name is Jose. Joseph. Jose. 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 Nice to meet you. My name is Ryan. Now I'm going to ask you two questions. Okay. These two questions are going to tell me everything I need to know about you. But it's a little game. A hundred pound I'm putting on this game. We've just met, so I know absolutely nothing about you. A hundred pound, you hold on to it. Yeah. Do not run off. Yeah. I have security over there. <laughs> I'm joking, I don't really, don't run off. So I'm £100 there, the game's going to be this. I'm going to ask you two questions. The first question is this. Are you in a relationship? Yes. Yeah. You are. Do you have any kids? No. no. They're the two questions. So you're in a relationship and you have no kids. Yes. I'm going to ask you one more question. Do you know how many contacts you have on your mobile phone? I don't have any. You don't know? I don't do you know how many contacts you have on your phone? No. Not hardly any of us do. I don't know how many we have. We don't keep track on that. Yeah. But I'm going to tell you now, based on them two questions I asked you, I know exactly how many contacts you have on your mobile phone. Uh, how many? You don't believe me, no? No, I don't believe you. Because look, <laughs> you have a you're in a relationship and you have no, no kids. No. So that tells me that you won't have many contacts. Look. Should I hold your hand like this? Look. No, no, hold your hand like this. 189 contacts you have on your phone. 189. Now look, if I'm wrong, you get to keep that 100 pounds. 189, have a look. <laughs> Let's see. 189. Scroll down. Scroll, I don't like mine. 180. <laughs> bye bye. Show the camera. No, no, Show the no, camera. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Show the camera. Bye, bye, bye. No, no, nice to meet you. I'll take my hundred pound back. There's no possible way that I could know how many contacts you have on your phone, is there? Wrong. We've just met. I've got nowhere near your phone, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,
So I believe now, just from these questions, you have 237 contacts in your phone. 237. 237. Now, I've got nowhere near you. I know nothing about you, we've yeah. just met. 237, take out your phone. 237 contacts. 200. 237 <laughs> contacts. Is that right? <laughs> that was crazy. Show the camera. 237 contacts. <laughs> I have no idea how you did that. That is whack. How weird is that? I'll take my 100 pound back. <laughs> That's mine. Oh, wow, that is crazy. I, I have no idea. How weird is that? It's crazy how much we give away, right? <laughs> That's why I, I don't. I, that was so weird. I'll leave that with you. Thank you so much for Thank taking you. part. Um, yeah. So it was. It was crazy. He. Uh, he just met me. I just literally met him five minutes ago, and um, he asked me a couple of questions about my backpacking and my uh, life back home before I came. And um, he knew exactly how many contacts I had somehow. I have no clue how he did it, but he did it just from like three questions, two questions, two questions and uh, he knew it, so I don't know, I don't know how he did it. <laughs>
for 420. Now, if you don't know what 420 is, thousands of people come to Hyde Park once a year just to smoke weed. So what better place to come to mess with some people's heads? Let's go. <laughs> Madness. It's mad. 420, everyone starts blazing up. <laughs> I don't even smoke. I think I'm gonna get high just standing here. <laughs> now, do you think it's possible for someone else to control your mind? No, it's not. Nah, nah. You don't think so? It's not. Nah. Okay. Maybe a girl, but not you. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to try this experiment out now. Could you hold on to this bag? We're going to come back to that in a moment. So I've got a deck of cards here. I'm not going to show you the face of these cards just yet. The reason for this is because I don't want to influence you with a choice of a card, okay? Now you know in a deck of cards there's number cards and picture cards, black cards and red cards, yes? In a moment you're going to close your eyes. And I'm going to give you this deck in your hand and you're going to count, I'm going to count down from five. When I get to zero, you open a deck up like this at one place. You look at one card and remember it. Do you understand? Yes. Take the deck, give the phone to someone else to hold on to. So I close my eyes. Yes, so not, not yet. Just look at me. So in a deck of cards, there's numbers and pictures. Okay, the suits, there's clubs, hearts, spades and diamonds. The numbers are ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The pictures are jack, queen, king. Yes, do you understand? Good, now close your eyes. Just take a deep breath in and out. In and out. Keep your eyes completely closed. Do not open them. I'm going to count down from five. Five, four, three, two, one. Open the deck up. Open it up, look at one card. You got one, close it. Close it up. You got a card, yes? Yes? Yeah. Now there's no possible way I could know what card you're thinking of right now, is there? It's impossible. Give me the deck back. Now look, have you ever walked into a room and completely forgotten the reason why you walked in there? Yeah. yeah. It's happened yeah. to all of us, right? It's a very strange thing. Now did that just happen? Now this was about me implanting thoughts inside of your head, controlling your mind to see things that weren't there. How about I told you that there was no card in this deck? and I just implanted this. You wouldn't believe me, would you? I'm gonna tell you now, that is exactly what I done. <laughs> because there is no card in this deck. This was all in your imagination. Because I implanted it inside of your head from the moment we met. The only way I can prove this, the only way I can prove that I implanted this card inside of your head is if I can tell you your playing card right now. So look, the card I was trying to implant inside of your head was a black card. Mm -hmm. I know that. Good. So look at me. A black card. That was the card. So for the first time, tell everybody the card you see inside of that blank deck. The six of spades. Six of spades. Yeah. Oh so doesn't that prove that all of us can be controlled? It's weird, isn't it? But you know what? I want to try something else with you because you will be absolutely perfect for this. Hold on to this bag for me a second. You are probably one of the biggest skeptics here because what I do is I read people. So now I gave you a bag before we began. Now I want to show you something now with one of the world's most famous puzzles. And do you know what that is? The Rubik's Cube. Now you're probably wondering why the Rubik's Cube? Now I'm going to tell you because this has over 43 quintillion different possible configurations. So if I was to hand you this cube right now and you was to mix it, so mix it. Stop. The odds of another cube right now matching that exact one is 43 quintillion. So basically, there's no possible way another Rubik's Cube is going to match this one. Right? They're the odds. Can you solve a Rubik's Cube? No. Have any of you solved a Rubik's Cube before? No. Solving a Rubik's Cube is a lot easier than most people think. It's just a pattern. Once you know the pattern... I know, I know the pattern. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, but that's the thing. Once you know the pattern, they say any mixed up Rubik's Cube can be solved within 20 moves. Okay. Within 20 moves. But listen, if you don't know the pattern and you was to move it, and you was to move it randomly and you was to make one move, per second, it will take you a quadrillion years to solve. So if anyone tells you they've sold a Rubik's Cube by accident, they're fucking lying. It's impossible. You can't solve these by accident. So now this is where the experiment starts. I've just told you the facts. Mix this up for me. As much as you want till your heart's content. And then stop whenever you want. It's up to you when you want to stop. Now I know how to solve a Rubik's Cube. 
right? So Are you happy? No, I'm not happy yet. Carry on. Whenever you're happy, just stop. Someone else as well. Let them do yeah. it. <laughs> just a pan here. Let me start this one. Yeah, look at me. You want to do some as well? Yeah, yeah. Cool. I like that. Are you happy there? Yeah, I'm happy. Oh, good. Yeah. Show me all six sides. The other side, go. The other side, three, four, this side, five, and then the back side, six. Good. I'm going to tell you now that this Rubik's Cube can be solved in 12 moves. 16 moves. 12 moves this Rubik's Cube can be solved. But this is the experiment. I'm not going to solve it in 12 moves. You are. That's impossible. This is all about me controlling right. your mind, right? So I know what move solves that, 12 moves. So close your eyes, take these off. Can, can you hold on to this for me? Take a deep breath in. And out, in, and out. And you're gonna do this with your eyes closed. 12 moves. Close your eyes now. Close your eyes now. I'm just gonna hold the back of your head, okay? Now look, remember 12 moves. I want you to count out loud when you do them. Please do not open your eyes. Just pick up on what I'm, what I'm trying to send to you, okay? 12 moves, start now. Four, five, six, seven, eight. eight. Do not look. Ten, right, eleven. Yeah. One more move. <laughs> One more move. Go. Twelve. That's it, 60 moves. Now look, don't open your eyes. If you was to open your eyes yeah. right now and this Rubik's Cube was solved, this would prove that I controlled your mind, right? Yeah. But it'd be a miracle as well, yes? Yeah. Open your eyes, have a look. Yeah. It isn't solved, right? Oh. Did you feel influenced at all? Did you feel like I was controlling your mind to control your movement? Yeah. Now look, I'm gonna tell you now, I lied to you. This wasn't about me controlling your mind to solve this Rubik's Cube. This was about me controlling your mind, controlling your movement, leave it there to put this Rubik's Cube in a specific configuration. Because the odds now of another Rubik's Cube matching this is 43 quintillion to one. I gave you a bag before we began. And inside this bag is another Rubik's Cube. This is where it gets really interesting because look, I'm gonna show you now one side matches, two side matches, three side matches, <laughs> Four side matches, five what sides, six sides, all that? six sides. So doesn't that prove that I controlled your mind to do that? That's one in 43 yeah, quintillion. There we go. Oh. What do you have to say to that, bro? What do you have to say to that, bro? That's crazy, bro. That is actually crazy. One in 43 That's quintillion of them matching. That's actually crazy. Thank you so much for taking bro. part in the experiment. Thank you so much, sir. That's some next black magic shit, bro. Thank you so much. Thank you. That's why I love what I do, because I just proved the skeptic wrong. He was a skeptic before he met me and now he believes in it. The power of our mind. Ooh.